Good morning, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast, right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. First up, Coyote suspected of having rabies shot, killed in Alton. Let's take a listen to the video from WMUR News 9. All this month, we have Memorial Day savings at Quirk Chevrolet in Manchester. Lease a new 2018 Silverado 1500 Double Cab Custom for just $115 a month. Quirk saves you over $10,000. Quirk works for you. Chevrolet, find new roads. Tonight, fish and game officers believe they've taken care of a coyote they suspect was rabbit. Its first encounter was with a woman and her dog yesterday. A coyote came out and attacked her dog and started stalking her. Um, luckily, some hikers came down the trail and scared the coyote off. And more reports started coming in from there of a coyote with porcupine quills in its muzzle trying to attack. Two young ladies were walking down the yellow trail, and a coyote came out and started stalking them. They used a stick to keep it off them, a short stick, and they just kind of backed down the trail with this coyote kind of, you know, two feet away, basically, you know, trying to get to them. Lieutenant Brad Morris searched this area, but there was no sign of the animal. Another report came in today. A conservation officer heading back to Mount Major to check out the situation ended up coming face to face with the animal. When he came up on the trail, he saw two girls who had a, a black lab with them. He warned them about the coyote, and as he was talking to them, it came out onto the trail. As he walked towards the coyote, the coyote charged him, and he was able to dispatch it. The coyote was shot and killed. Hikers say the reports are nerve-wracking, but they come prepared. I never even thought that that would even be an issue here. Definitely have pepper spray in my bag at all times, um, just because you never know what you're going to run into. Mm -hmm. Now, since that coyote didn't actually bite anyone, it won't be tested for rabies, but fish and game officers do suspect that it was rabid. Live in Alton, I'm Sharice LeClaire, WMUR News 9. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. Two people rushed to hospital after crash involving motorcycle. Let's take a listen to the video from WCVB Boston. Step out of the way. Wow. Wow. Ready for summer? Seasons 4 Lexington has the best selection of outdoor furniture and accessories. From porch, patio, and deck furniture to statuary fountains and more. Our garden center has perennials, annuals, trees, and shrubs arriving daily. Seasons 4, the outdoor living store. A nasty crash involving that motorcycle. I'll step out of the way. You see parts of that motorcycle all over this intersection. Police tell us there were two people on this bike. And then just in the distance, you see that blue SUV with, with its flashers on. Police say that this motorcycle collided with that SUV here at this intersection tonight. This happened around 9 o'clock. We're at the corner of North Main and Pleasant here in Brockton. Pretty busy intersection here. Police right now trying to figure out exactly how this all unfolded. But again, they say two people on this bike tonight when it collided with this car. Of course, those two people now in the hospital. Police not describing the extent of their injuries as they continue to reconstruct this crash tonight. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. Watchdog finds potential areas of concerns regarding DHHS death of two children. Let's take a listen to the video from WMTW News 8 Maine.
season is here, and right now at Richardson's Boatyard, we have a huge selection, incredible prices, and great incentives. Pontoon boats, fishing boats, power boats, and more. Visit us online or stop by today to get the boat of your dreams and start creating lifelong memories. Here's that report, nine pages, and the Government Oversight Committee, trying to get to the bottom of what went wrong and who's to blame, calls this a whole lot of nothing. We have two child deaths, and our confidentiality laws make it impossible for us to figure out why. We have miserably failed these kids. Who dropped the ball in the brutal beating deaths of two young girls? Ten-year-old Marissa Kennedy of Stockton Springs and four-year-old Kendall Chick of Wiscasset, murdered within months of each other despite calls to police school officials, and the DHHS. Poor job performance and inadequate supervision appear to have been factors. The director of OPEGA outlining its findings about what went wrong and who's to blame and how to fix it. The lawmakers growing increasingly frustrated because much of the details aren't being released. As we sit here, we know kids are being abused. It's increased 52% from 2008 to 2016. What are we doing? How long can we follow our bureaucratic rules and our protections of rights before we can get in and deal with this abuse? Based on your observations, it's driving me crazy yeah. to sit here. The report did give some information without identifying which case they were referring to. Uh, in one case, we observed that the Office of Child and Family Services failed to follow its own policies and procedures in fully assessing the appropriateness of the child's placement and staying engaged with the child and family. The DHHS is responding to the report saying, quote, we welcome and encourage external reviews of the department's processes and procedures to ensure no stone is left unturned. There are some recommendations in this report, too, among them, uh, additional training for caseworkers and more communication and sharing of information among, say, police officers and schools. And there's a public hearing on this, too, a week from today. In Augusta, Jim Keithley, WMTW News 8. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. Amazon Echo secretly recorded a family's conversation and sent it to a random contact. The Echo device in your room could be secretly recorded your conversation and in some cases could send it to a random person. According to a report, from local Seattle TV network, KIRO7. Civilians shoots, kills suspect who opened fire at Oklahoma City restaurant. The suspect in the shooting that injured multiple people in an Oklahoma City restaurant died after he was shot by an armed civilian, police said. And that does it for the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you back here later on today for another newscast. And I'll have a news report coming up in a little bit. Goodbye, everyone.